All right, good morning, everybody. So I told you we have a really good story coming up. I'm here at Wesley Prep with Mrs. Cousineau's fourth grade class. Let's take a look at him. Say good morning, everybody. Morning. Now, class, I actually have a surprise for you guys. You guys thought I was doing a story just on your program, right? Well, today is actually a Rise and Shiner Friday. This is when we go undercover because one of our viewers nominated, one of these people here is a Rise and Shiner. This is an everyday hero who gets up and makes the world a better place. They have no idea. We've pulled one over on them. So let's take a look at the story, see how they're changing the world, and let them know what they mean. I don't know, I thought you were showing me. I think just start, just start. Making fourth graders care about Texas history isn't always easy, let alone care about the world. But Lori Cousineau has been doing just that year after year at Wesley Prep in Dallas. When you meet a teacher like Lori, she was definitely born to touch the lives of children. Mrs. Cousineau thought we were doing a story on the school where she works, but really we came by to shine a light on her and her mission to find connection in a world that can feel divided. I am from the textures of a torn... This is Mrs. Cousineau's Common Ground Experiment, a program she started in 2016 where she challenges her fourth graders to find solutions to society's biggest problems and connect with people who may seem different. Here, her students are reciting poetry they've written alongside women who have experienced homelessness. She's an amazing person. She's helped me, she's like such an eye opener. She's helped me learn so much about other people. I want her to know that she inspires so many fourth graders and not just fourth graders, so many people. Those things are still going. And WFAA did an original on Mrs. Cousineau's work with Bonton Farms two years ago when her students helped raise more than $10,000 to eliminate food deserts in South Dallas. I think we were all really shocked when we learned like how much we actually raised. But yeah, as a fourth grader, you can do so much if you really just take the time. Even a pandemic could not stop Mrs. Cousineau's mission to empower. This year, her students are hosting their own podcast, talking to people from all over about problems in our world, and more importantly, about solutions. If we had like a thousand Mrs. Cousineaus, the world would be an amazing place. Everybody, a whole bunch of lives would be changed, and they already are just from her being a single person. While the reading and the history are certainly important, this teacher's most powerful lesson just may be this. When we look for common ground with our fellow human, we will find it. I think everyone needs maybe the lesson that she gave us. It's a lesson these young people have learned well and one we could all study more often. Oh my gosh, Mrs. Cousineau, this is so tough because normally I come over and hug our rising shiner. It's still COVID, but my main mission this morning is to let you know that you matter, that everything you do matters so much to these children, to their parents, to us watching, to the organizations that you work with. Do you know that you matter? Oh, goodness. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I can't even, I don't even, I was not expecting this, but thank you, yes. You're so welcome. And it matters to me. It, uh, this is like what I, I just, this is what I feel like I was made to do. So it's an honor and it's just so, I'm just so grateful to be able to do this, but oh my goodness, this was such a surprise and um, thank you. <laughs> you are so, you're so welcome, so welcome. And we're gonna pan back over here. Uh, class, will you guys wave, wave for us? Unfortunately, we're having audio difficulties, but I'm gonna tell you guys, the mic's not working right now. I'm gonna tell you guys what Mrs. Cousineau just said. Uh, speechless, which I know is rare for this woman. Uh, she is eternally grateful. We're having audio issues so you guys couldn't hear her. But when I spoke with her, we had a sit down interview. You talked about seeing a lot of division in the world, a lot of focus on problems. And you said, what we're doing right now, it ain't working. So let's find a solution. And your fourth graders, what you guys have done, I think the entire world needs to look at that, Mrs. Cousineau, and that's really our goal right now. We also wanted to surprise you. You work so hard with a spa day. We've got to stay socially distanced, sorry. This is, Dar uh, this is one of the individuals with Darids, a spa, and they have given you a full day to relax and enjoy. Yes, we are so proud to have you here. Very good. <laughs> yes, it's the COVID air hug. Thank you. 
Mrs. Cosino, we absolutely love you. We love what you do. And we're going to talk to you more a little bit later. But we're going to let you soak this all in. Okay, guys, I'm going to send it back to you. Thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> What a great job. What a great story, Hannah. Thank you for that. And always good to see Hannah Davis back on Daybreak.